It's a busy weekend, that's Very for sure. So, so the yeah. bike ride, we also had Sky Fest. We we're just talking yeah. in the break. It was such a nice day for that. It kind of started a little cloudy, but cleared up. That's right, exactly. Right, well, and of course, all eyes are now moving towards this weekend, yes. Hoop Fest, where Oof. everyone's wondering how the weather's going to be shaping up. So right. what we can see right now outside is that it's a beautiful start to our Monday. Yes, right? we've gorgeous. we've got some changes on the way. We are going to be seeing a lot of wet weather head our way, a lot of stormy weather by about the middle of the week. But what we see right now to start off our week it's pretty much dry weather and temperatures just slightly below average. So starting off with those current temperatures, we're mainly in the 40s and the 50s, though keep in mind this is slightly below average. We're at 48 in Spokane, 46 in Coeur d'Alene, and moving off towards central Washington, 54 in Wenatchee and in Moses Lake. Now, uh, this is that view out toward downtown. You can see that layer of clouds closer toward the surface and clearing up toward uh, the uh, farther part of the atmosphere. So we're going to continue to see just about a mix of sun and clouds as the rest of the day goes on, partly cloudy for for most of it, but by the time we get to about the middle of the week, we're looking at stormy weather moving in. Now this is mainly going to come off of the coast of Oregon, just kind of along that Washington, Oregon coastline. It's going to push inland and bring us likely some thunderstorms to start off late Tuesday night and Wednesday and then continue into your Thursday. Now by the time we get to Friday and Saturday, we start to see a lot of this wet weather clear out. Right now Saturday only holds about a 10% chance of those showers continuing, so most of it will be done by Friday. That means Saturday and Sunday shaping up to be a great weekend overall. Wind speeds right now are in the double digits, just something to consider out there. It's 12 mile an hour winds in Spokane, 16 in Pullman. These double digit wind speeds will likely kind of just continue throughout the day. It's going to be a little bit breezy, but not quite all that windy as the rest of the day goes on. So keep in mind, you're going to have a breeze out there. If you're walking out outside or walking to work, uh, there is just going to be that little bit of a breeze lingering, especially with those 40 degree temperatures. It can kind of feel a little bit chilly, especially in these morning hours. On satellite radar, we're still seeing a few residual showers clear out. This is going to be the case for most of the day, though, as you move farther up north, that's where we see the potential for some thunderstorm activity. You can see on future tracker how that plays out. That's just around the Bonners Ferry area, pushing off into western Montana. You can see by 2 p.m. We still see a couple of those showers popping up on the radar, and then by the time we get to your evening, most of those have cleared out. So then going into Tuesday morning, we see a mostly dry morning. That's tomorrow, about 24 hours from now. We'll keep seeing dry skies through the majority of your day. But then watch what happens by the time we get to your afternoon and evening hours. 930. We start to see a couple thunderstorms pop up just around the northeast corner of Washington and push along the central and southern panhandle, and those will continue to push our way as we head into the remainder of your Wednesday and your Thursday. So we've got that wet weather headed our way by that time. But for today, again, partly cloudy skies, high temperatures mainly in the 70s. We've got 72 in Spokane, 70 in Coeur d'Alene, 80 degrees in Moses Lake, and 75 in Ritzville. Here's that seven day forecast right now. As we head towards that weekend, Hoop Fest, right? We're looking at 74 and 79 degrees, a great forecast in general. Notice how most of those showers are just going to kind of linger around us from Wednesday through Friday. And then by the time we get to your weekend, we're hoping that all those showers will have cleared out. Amanda. All right, thank you, Evan. Looking good for Hoop Fest. Yeah, so far so yeah, good, right? Yeah, little clouds giving some cover. That's that's nice. Yeah, it's at least not so 90s high. or 100s, right? Yeah, exactly.